Hey, hi. Okay, I uh, just want to continue a bit more about the this predicament that um, uh, which is in fact quite a seriously bad negative uh, catalyst for the US stock market. Um, I believe that the only way out for them would be to build trust and faith. Faith um, means that uh, US and uh, other countries would continue to buy bonds from uh, US dollar, uh, from, uh, from the US, even though the bond yield is um, lower than the inflation rates that is uh, happening right now in US and if uh, the US government were to be able to continue to build trust um, um, uh, to, for everyone to believe that uh, they, have, they still have faith in the US dollar and then they will still think that you know um, and any um, country's um, central government would still allocate a substantial or at least a portion of their funds uh, treasury funds uh, for uh, to buy the US uh, treasury bonds even though that's a risk that the bonds may 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 may, may not be able to catch up with the inflation rates let's say a bond yield of three percent versus an inflation of like ten percent but then if you compare um, the bond yields around the world um, You'll be looking at um, actually United States uh, bond yield would, is actually among the best in the world, the most attractive for let's say a Malaysia central bank or Singapore treasury bank. Um, Australia is pretty good as well, um, you know. Uh, if, and um, uh, of course, you get uh, other countries like France and Italy. Um, their bond yields are low um, and I think uh, because of the, 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 the situation that's going on in in, in Europe you know um, the, the the uncertainty that's happening their bond yields uh, even though it is high uh, it may not attract uh, other governments or other institutional bankers uh, investors to buy um, I just want to go a bit further into the meaning of um, uh, bonds and uh, why bonds um, matter this time uh, in the US economy. Higher government borrowing through issuance of securities, especially when inflation is high, will push up yields on bond and result in a fall in bond price. Um, of course, now um, the, the, we are not talking about the bond price here. We are focusing on the yields because the yields actually determines the ability of the US government or the issuer. Issuer would be the borrower uh, to pay. If bond yields go up, that is not so good for the US government because it means that they, every one million that they borrow, they need to pay higher interest rates. Um, and then in a higher yield environment, means the government will have to pay more as a return to investor leading to a rise in the cost of borrowing that's applicable for the US government. Um, is, is it good if bond yields go up? Higher yields mean that bond investors are owed a larger amount of in payment interest payments. You know, it could be, let's say, uh, Singapore Treasury, they buy bonds, so they are entitled back for more money, uh, but may also be a sign of greater risk. But if you look at the other side of the fence, right, that would mean that uh, the, the government, who is US government, yeah, issuing the bonds, they are the borrower. So the riskier a borrower is, the more yield investor demand to hold their debt. Higher yield also associated with longer maturity bonds. In part, the yield is rising because investors are starting to demand higher returns, given the, that they expect an annual rate of inflation or more than 2% over the long term. According to data, um, yields have been below inflation expectations for some time, so they are starting to catch up. I think the reason the yield were below the expectation level for US is because people have faith in the US dollar. People have faith being that the US is the big brother, so buying US dollar is actually the correct approach. To do is like a safe haven. Uh, as bond yield rise, bank may raise interest rates on deposits to keep them. That's just from the consumer's perspective. Today we are looking at the US government's uh, ability to pay or whether they will be paying more, or paying less. 
um, the bond yield is based on the bond coupon payments divided by its market price. As bond prices increases, bond yield falls. Falling interest rates make bond prices rise and bond yield fall. That, this is just an inverse relationship of bonds, um, which is more of an academic issue. Um, so, so um, yeah, this is another bond type, which is a fixed interest rates kind of uh, bonds. Uh, again, I go back to this uh, 10-year bond, which is on the rise. It may even to go up to about 3 to 4%. Um, so, the into interest rates and bond you move together. Okay, why I, I, I Google this is because... Um, when you go up, that's, it's not good for you as government because they are the borrower. Uh, they are the issue of the bonds, which means they are the borrower. Interest rates go up, also not good because they have. They are also the borrower. They have to pay interest rates. Um, put down pressure on the interest rates. So this is just um, a solution. It means that if they increase interest rates, the bond you may go down. So it's either or. Uh, you either pay a higher high bond you or you pay a high interest rates. So um, this is uh, both also not good for a borrower, like a big borrower, but like US. So um, let me see what else quickly I just wanted to do. This is from a consumer perspective. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's about it. So I think the, the solution is, um, it looks like the US will, will the Fed will allow will, will be willing to pay more interest uh, more uh, bond yields than to increase interest rates um, because if they were to increase rates too fast to catch up with inflation then um, they, they, they will also crash the economy because there are so many other banks that are so many other industries that have high borrowings so um, and uh, I think they will just probably quietly um, you know, pay the yields, you know, by quietly printing out money to pay the bonds, bond yields. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you. Please click a like.